Hey guys and gals, today we're going to create some artboards in Photoshop for web banners. So I'm first going to start by clicking on the create new button and then I'm going to go to the web tab because that's going to give us our dimensions in pixels. We're going to start off by creating a 728 by 90 web banner. 72 ppi is fine at RGB for the web is great. Also make sure that this checkbox is enabled for artboards. Now it's going to start us off with one artboard. Let's go ahead and click create. You can see that our one artboard here and they've given it a name called artboard. I like to actually change that name to the size of the banner and you'll see why when we export. So I'm just going to double click on that and I'm going to name this layer 728 by 90. Okay. And the thing with artboards, you can see that you can collapse or expand these. So unlike the traditional layers panel, when you don't check artboards at the very beginning, um, it just gives you layers. Well, this kind of groups all of the layers onto that one artboard. Now we don't have anything on that artboard yet, so it just says layer one. Now, if we wanted to create more artboards, if you were to look under the move tool, you can see that there's an artboard tool. And when I select artboard, look what happens. It brings up these little plus signs here. So if I were to click on a plus sign, it gives us a web banner. If I click on the plus sign on the right, it gives us another web banner. And we can change the size of those banners up here in the options bar. Okay. But I'm not ready to do that yet. So I'm just going to delete those. And to delete artboards, all you have to do is click on the name in the layers panel and just hit delete. So I'm hitting the delete key on my keyboard. So we'll start off with one because we need to actually create one. Now I'm going to switch back to the move tool and I'm just going to grab some images here and start putting a web banner together. So in my Creative Cloud libraries, I'm going to pull out this fashion image here. So let's pretend like we're doing a web banner for fashion week or something. So I'm going to do a command T, which brings up free transform and it's going to allow me to scale the image and I'm just going to scale it the size of the artboard. Now I'm going to add some type, so I'm going to hit T on my keyboard. That takes me directly to the type tool. And I'll just type in, I don't know, fashion week. Uh, that's kind of small, so I'm going to do a command T. And I'm just going to grab the corner and scale this up. And maybe to make that more readable, I'll just change that type to white. Uh, we probably should tell people when this is. So if you hold down the option key, and move a layer around, you'll be able to create a copy of that text layer. And now I'm just gonna type in a fictitious date here. How about July 20th through the 27th? Okay, and I'll just scale this down so that we have some hierarchy. Whenever you wanna align layers, you can just hold down the shift key and select both of the layers in the layers panel and then use the alignment keys up here at the top. Okay, so now we have our type. With web banners, it's always a good idea to have a call to action. So I'm just gonna create a button right over here. So I'm gonna grab my shape tool in the tool panel, which looks like this. And I'll just draw out a shape. Let's just close this down. Okay, that looks about right. I'll do Command-T and just kind of play around with the size of this. But all of these elements that we're creating here, the background image, the type, and the button, we're going to transfer over to other sizes, other web sizes. Okay, so now we probably should add a call to action here. We'll add some text. So again, I'm just going to select this text here, hold down my Option key, and you can see when I hold down the Option key, it kind of creates this duplicate here. I'm just clicking and dragging and then I'll add some type, something like, a, I don't know, click for ticks. Okay. I'll grab my move tool, do a command T to scale this down and I'll just kind of put it in there and this will be our button. Now we can't see that. So let's just give this a color. So something like that, maybe a little bolder text. All right, something like that. So now we're going to create the other web banners. So 
So like I said, you could grab the artboard tool and let's just go ahead and do that. So in your tool panel, grab the artboard tool and I'm gonna click on the name of the layer. And when you click on the name of the layer, you can see that everything sort of comes alive here. And you can see all of our nested layers inside of that 728 by 90 group. So this is one artboard. So now we're gonna create another one. And I'll just create one to the right by clicking on this plus sign. Now I don't want it to be the same size. So let's say we want more of a square banner. So I'm gonna type in uh, 350 by 200. I believe the correct size is 250. And you can see the size changing here. And if you have the artboard selected, you can actually move the artboard around so it doesn't have to stay there. I can move this all around. And the smart guys are trying to help me line things up, but that's fine, it can be anywhere. It doesn't really um, mess with the final results. Now it gave it a name of artboard one. I don't like that. I wanna go to my layers panel here and change that to 350 by 250. Hit return. There's nothing on that layer yet. But now we're just going to drag and drop the elements for consistency. Right? Now, we might as well just go ahead and create our third one. So I'm going to grab my artboard tool again, and I'll just click on this bottom arrow. Now this one, let's change this to be like a skyscraper, like 160 by 600. And I'm changing the dimensions up here in the options bar when I have the artboard tool selected. Okay, so now we've got three potential banners. Let's bring that back into view here. And now I'm just gonna drag and drop because we want these to be consistent, right? So I'm gonna start with our high fashion model and I'm gonna hold down the option key again. Option is going to create a copy and see I'm just dragging and dropping it over to the other artboard. Okay. Now see what happened? Nothing happened <laughs> because I missed the artboard. And you can see that I created a copy, but it didn't make it onto that artboard. It's still onto the 728 by 90 artboard. So I'm glad it did that because I, I want to show you that you can actually just take this layer and move it up to the layer, the artboard that you want it to be on, right? So now you can see it appears here and we can just position it to where we want it to be. And we'll do the same thing for the 160 by 600. So again, a good idea to name these layers. There's nothing on it yet, but I'm gonna hold down the option key and I'm going to, well, first click on the model image, hold down the option key and I'm gonna drag and drop. And now you can see it's gonna land on the 160 by 600. So that's how you can tell it will kind of snap to it. But again, if you miss it the first time, that's okay. You can just go to your layers panel and just assign it to an artboard. Now, maybe I'll do a Command T and just kind of scale this up. And something like that. All right, so we've got our image. Uh, next, we need our text. So I'm gonna grab the Fashion Week text from the first banner. And I'm gonna hold down the shift key and just select the fashion week text and the July 20 through 27 text. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold down option with my move tool, hold down option, and I'm just gonna move it over and you can see now it's actually landing on there. Now I need to probably position this text better. Okay, let's grab this. Again, I probably want those to be centered, so I'm gonna hold down my Shift key and in my Layers panel, just make sure I highlight both of those and then use my Alignment tools. And we need to bring the button over also. So, well, let's go ahead and finish bringing the Fashion Week text to all of the banners. Do a Command T and just scale that down. And then lastly, we'll go for the button. I'm actually gonna put this button in a group because we have two elements. We have the text and we have the rounded rectangle. So if I hold down the shift key and just select both of those and hit command G on my keyboard or control G on a PC, I'm on a Mac. 
and then we can just give this a nice fancy name like I don't know button and that way we can just grab you know grab it as one group and just kind of drag it to where we need to drag it that way we're not selecting a bunch of different layers smart guides are helping us out with the alignment which is great I'm gonna do the same thing hold down the option key with my move tool selected in my tool panel and just drag it down here all right now we've got all three banners created you can see in my layers panel that you can expand and collapse these different artboards and now we're ready to export so once we have everything designed we just go to file export and we're going to go to export as and it's going to bring up our three web banners so here we go 160 by 600 350 by 250 728 by 90 I could click on each individual banner I could change the sizes over here to the right and I could change the format if I wanted these to be ping files I could change that here but I'm actually just gonna leave them as JPEGs, that's fine. And I'm gonna leave them at their original size, I'm not gonna change that. And at this point, I'm just gonna export. All right, let's just select the desktop here. I'm gonna put it in another folder called test. And I'm going to save it into that folder. Now, if I go out and look in that folder, I'm just gonna collapse this window for a minute. And we take a look in the folder, here are our web banners. And this is why it's a good idea to name your artboards the sizes that you intend to have uh, your web banners be, because then it's easy to figure out what they are. If I were to hold down my space bar on my keyboard, you can see a preview of each ad, and here they are. And that's it. That's how you create artboards in Photoshop and export them as JPEGs or ping files for the web. Hope you liked it. Subscribe if you do. See you later.